Hey guys, what's up? This is Gum, and welcome to Ruiner on the PC. Ruiner is a cyberpunk action shooter that, if I had to make a comparison, kind of reminds me of Hotline Miami and Hyperlight Drifter. So it's a pretty frantic, just action shooter where you're dashing around with various weapons and abilities engaging with large groups of enemies. Uh, so this should be interesting, should be fun. I've been looking forward to this game just because all the trailers have definitely done a good job in selling uh, selling the everything to me. It just looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get this started. I did play a tiny bit of the beginning to figure out which controls I want to actually use. And we're going to be sticking with the Xbox One controller. In the year 2091, pervasive advancements in technology and computerization haven't changed human nature. Playing with people's lives have, has never been more fun. And we get the mouse out of the screen. Get, 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 get out of here. Alrighty, welcome to heaven. Not, not exactly the pleasant afterlife place, but a giant facility from what I've seen. Three, two, one. All systems online. You are in heaven. You're here to kill the boss. They know you're here. Do what I say if you want to live. Now let's test out these controls. Okay, we got a guy who's just referred to as your master. He rules us, I guess, as we're ordered around to kill the boss. So, uh, controls are pretty generally simplistic. There's a lot to it, uh, but you know, with the controller, it's just left analog stick and the right analog stick, as well as all the other buttons. With the mouse and keyboard, it's actually interesting. So, you do get a crosshair. Uh, which makes the shooting aspect a lot better and the dashing aspect a lot better. However, they did something weird with the controls and it's hard to kind of demonstrate purely visually, but all right. So you can see my character if I'm pressing W and I'm pressing S and I'm pressing A and D. Well, obviously you move in a singular direction when that happens. However, it doesn't move in correspondence with your perspective. It moves in correspondence with the environment. Which basically means that playing with the mouse and keyboard means that if I'm trying to move down, I'm actually moving diagonally left. And that really, that, that trips me up. Otherwise, I would use the mouse and keyboard. That's, that, that was messing with me as I was playing around with it. So yeah, we're just gonna play with the, with the controller. It works out a little bit better for me. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a, I don't know, is that a sword? Doesn't matter. Knocked his ass out. Let's get rolling. Doesn't matter what the controls are, right? As long as I can kick some ass. Let's have some fun, boys. Bring them down. Guards, corporate soldiers, short-tempered, hardwired. And they all look pretty similar. They have the chiseled jawline and cheeks. Ready to stare a man down as they try to beat him. But I have an objective to kill boss. So everyone in my way has to die. Maybe even the civilians. Hello. What's going on? Well, I'm just breaking in. I'm supposed to be killing the boss there. Whoop! Oh. Okay. I can't, I can't kill the civilians. All right, dash. Dash with the left analog stick and left bumper. And you can chain your dashes a little bit. Dash away from mines. Oh, this part. What it really should say is dash past the mines and then away from them. Because otherwise the mines chase you around for a long while. And that's never pleasant. Alright. Why, hello there. Oh, 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 hey. Come on, asshole. I'll end you. Not if I dash straight to you. Dash to enemy. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know if there's like an invincibility frame while dash dashing, but I don't, I don't know. You got it, dude guy in my head, I guess. 
He has to keep reminding me. He has control. Total control. Practice your skills. Yeah, sure, I can do that. I can smack a couple of people around. Holy shit. That guy hit me once, chunked out a bit of help. One health bar, one bullet. Makes sense to me. Okay. Eh, don't mind me just kicking some ass to these guys, these guards. They don't stand a chance. You can dash. I mean, a lot of people can probably dash. Fill energy meter. You know, energy powers skills and gadgets. What skills and gadgets do I have? We have an energy shield, as well as a bunch of other things that I cannot select right now. So yeah, we'll do this. Now this is about where I, I, I played up to. So at the very least, I've already stumbled and failed. Is the sentry on? I don't know. It's not firing. What the hell's happening? No clue. It ain't safe. What do we do now? Keep our heads down. Well, you can also let me run forward a little bit here. I've got an energy shield. I can manage this. Whoa. It's just a casual drone just flying by. All right, let's turn on our shields. So our shield stays on until I either manually deactivate it, attack, or, well, actually, I guess getting hurt doesn't turn it off. Doesn't turn it off. All right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we're still, we're learning the mechanics. But I learned the hard way that the shield is directional, so. <laughs> I I would like dash past an enemy and then get shot in the back and take damage and I was like what the hell because I was just assuming it was a full body shield. It's not Good to get that kind of thing out of the way early, right? But it does take up a lot of energy, so I'm gonna try not Using my energy shield too drastically It's only when things get really real that I need to be doing that Oh, we have a power attack. Hold on now. Cool. Oh. I can't charge up my power attack while the shield is up. And, and, and starting the charge actually gets rid of the shield. That makes me sad. But fine, I accept it. Ah. And then we get our gun. The Ruiner. Auto fire. Where you going, boy? I'm just chilling out right here. I got an automatic weapon. Might as well just hold it button down. Slash of things. Whoa. <laughs> we got a guy behind us. He announced his presence by shooting me. Killer combo. Whoa. That was kind of intimidating. Killer combo. No, my combo is over. They can't. They took too long to get in here. All right. So the Ruiner has infinite ammo, whereas these other weapons don't. I have to assume that these other weapons will do more damage, though, than my uh, my Ruiner multi dash. Hold left bumper, and then I can set waypoints with the right trigger or right bumper, like so. Which is pretty cool. It's also a hell of a lot easier with the mouse and keyboard because you're pretty much just point and click, which is amazing, by the way. Being able to just be like, I want to go down, up, and then all the way back is a lot easier when uh <laughs> when using mouse and keyboard than if you have to just like aim a position like so. Hold on, like this: one, uh, two, uh, three. It's nice being able to flick the mouse around and do stuff, but like I said, the movement feels weird and I, I don't want to engage with that. Also, meleeing in this game is a lot better when you use uh, the the handle or the controller. Dash to safety. Safety back the way it came. All right. Oh, 
Come on, bring me the enemies. I need to keep up my combos. It says this is auto fire, but it's a burst fire. I feel lied to. I was holding it down, ready to just blast everything, but it didn't work out that way. Weapon locker. Oh, B B Y B B Y. What does it have? Oh, I'll take a shotgun. Arena. Yeah, I'll pick this up just so it's just so it doesn't like disappear into the ground oh, or boys. something. <laughs> yes, come on! Bring it on! Send more! I can handle them! Although they hurt, holy shit, my health was gone immediately as I got shot by that guy. I gotta watch out for that. Is that it? No! No, there's a man with a shotgun. We're gonna shoot him from a distance. Shh, just... It'd be pretty dangerous to try and beat a guy with a shotgun down when I have a pipe. I mean, the dash would probably still allow me to do a good hefty amount of work. I just don't trust it. Especially with the amount of damage we're taking just from dudes with pistols. Holy shit. Oh, I don't want to die. Well, then you worked at the wrong place, lady. Please, I have kids. Well, I, I can't actually hurt you at all, even if I wanted to. See? I wanted to make some moral choices involving that, but I guess we can't do it. Ooh, an energy shotgun. Cool. I see you. The automatic lock on, en on enemies when you're pointing at them is kind of disappointing. I like aimed at the dude in the shot, went too well, a little bit behind him. That's bad for my health. That was close. He almost had a chance to fire his shotgun again. Ow. I got shot. Whoa. Wait, what? I was trying to pick up my shotgun, and the lady's just like, don't do it. Uh, but I have to kill the boss. I, that's what the vo other voice in my head tells me to do, and he's been around since the beginning. And, go, 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 uh -oh. go. Yep, yep. And I have reaction speeds, so oh, it doesn't fucking matter. Holy shit. Oh my god. I almost died. I almost died, holy shit. I have reactor speeds, but it doesn't matter, they have guns. Jesus. P-B-A-X-X-X. -X -X. Oh, man, well, yeah, just keep on giving me shotguns. I wish I could carry more than two, two ranged weapons. I'd love to chain between them. I mean, technically, you do. Because you have the Ruiner. But I don't count that. Aha! If I'm smart with my energy usage, these ranged enemies mean nothing! Wake up. Oh, wake up. Uh, hold on, am I dreaming? Am I just imagining that I'm in a video game? Savagely murdering gods for my objective, my singular objective? Uh-oh. Is this gonna be the boss? I didn't play up to here. That guy looks like a boss. Oh, it's a security chief. Sometimes life can be so simple. You want to kill my boss? I'm here to make sure you don't. That's all there is to this. Everything as it should be. 
And I'll drink to that and we're done. Get him, boys. Uh oh. All right, Zero Hour. The boss waits behind this door. I'm setting a timer. You die when it reaches zero. What? Killing your enemies will delay the inevitable. Fight as fast as you can if you want to live. Doesn't that seem like a waste? To kill me off if I'm taking my time? Uh, uh oh. I have 15 seconds to kill. Oh, okay. All right. Uh -huh. That's okay. If we kill people, it'll all chain together. Here, let's get this auto rifle. All right, I have 30 seconds. Let's see how much damage the uh, power strike can do. Eh, not a lot. At least not against the boss. Against normal folks, it can do a lot. So we're just gonna grab this cobra. Oh, I already had another weapon. Whoops. You know, it's a good thing these guys keep dropping down. Can I kill this guy? In 28 seconds. The answer is gonna be... Duh. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Headhunt. Chief Watayama. Status dead. Bonus karma cost 250. What does... What does that mean? Don't do it. No, hold on, lady. I'm 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 checking things. I already knew about this, but there's a database too. Where's the bounty? Well, I guess we don't get to look at the bounty. Heaven. Having invested heavily in the Rancock region, they basically own it. Working under Heaven's immense corporate umbrellas are numberless sub-companies, running operations from R&D to manufacturing, logistics, transport, and everything in between. Their main product is virtuality. Real sensations in virtual worlds. Does that mean I'm... I'm inside of... a virtual reality? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, I guess we'll open the door. No, I- I have to kill the boss! Kill boss. Interrupt, signal lost. Uh-oh. Holy shit, I lost my arm! Okay, I guess the lady pulled me out from things? Hold on. Holy shit. Not too late, am I? You okay? Uh... Nod. I've been trying to reach you. Someone hacked your damn brain! This is a setup. They sent you to assassinate the boss of heaven. There's more bad news. They took your brother to make sure you do the job. <gasps> my brother! I, I i don't know, but, but he's, he's my brother and I have to care about that. That means they'll kill him unless we get him back first. That's not good. Get out of here fast. Head to Rancock South. I'll contact you there. Okay. I got an A ranking. Oh boy. That might end up being my best rank in the game. I don't know what's going on. But I guess it's time to get this game properly started. Is anyone gonna help me out? I just kind of stumbled into the street with a blinking face and half of an arm blown off. What do we have here? An early Christmas present? 
You're in bad shape, boy. You need a few spare parts. Oh, it's an old man. I like the... <laughs> it says piston on his shirt, and it looks very similar to the Valve logo. Alright, Rancock South. Where we hid after that shit show in heaven. Not a great place, but there are good people here. Good for us, anyway. Still alive, I see. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't brought you back myself. Do you remember anything at all? How you got here? Uh, I walked. I had my arm blown off. Hey, why is my face saying kill you? I'm just gonna nod. Wait, no, I'm gonna shrug. Whatever happened left you a mess, boy. I fished you out the gutter with one arm gone and blood and wiring everywhere. That mask of yours was going all kinds of haywire. Normally I'd have scrapped you for parts. I helped you only because she asked me to. Although ask doesn't exactly cut it. I put your faceplate back together with spit and glue and bubblegum. <laughs> and I've installed a new arm. Took some doing. Your hardware is older than dirt. I also fixed you a new citizenship. Thought you might need a fresh start. You can now earn your karma back and be a legal customer. Sort of. Let me show you how it works. Oh, my skill point things. These are skill points. Use them to acquire abilities and upgrades. New abilities are unlocked as your karma level increases. Activate them with skill points. Swap between active abilities using the radial menu. You can learn about any ability or upgrade here. You can also see it in action, even in full screen. I always love when there's a little tiny video that shows me what's going on with the ability. Each ability can be further developed with upgrades. Upgrades also require skill points to buy. Remember, you can deactivate any ability or upgrade. Use retrieve skill points to activate different ones. You can manage your skills from anywhere. Just hit the... well, that's the back button to enter the panel. You have a bunch of skill points. Go ahead, use them wisely. Okay, well, I, I want everything we just had. Oh, no. I only have four skill points, and these cost two? That's mean. These are starting abilities, and they're like, yeah, you know what? Enjoy not being able to afford all of them. Hmm. Dash is obviously a necessity. That's mandatory. The real question is, should I just go for power attack? I mean, the power attack seemed pretty powerful. And if I combine that with dashing, well... It's kind of nice. Okay. You're in Rancock South now. The bottom of the bottom. Trouble will find you soon enough, unless you find it first. <laughs> we're like in China, I'm gonna give this guy a southern accent. <laughs> That's just... We're gonna go all over the place. Consistency? I ain't got none. But I guess welcome to Raincock South. Raincock South. There you are. We gotta move fast if you wanna save your brother. I combed through the shit left in your head from the hack and found a clue. A heaven staffer. Code name Wizard. I trace his signal to Rancock South. His trail cuts here. There's this ex-cop, Rustum, who's glued to a stool at the, the Vostic Bar. He's well connected for a drunk. If Wizard's in town, Rustum will know where he is. Talk to him. Remember, you can hit left or left analog stick if you get lost or confused. Good luck, have fun. Uh, no, tell me more. Learn, adopt. That bad, huh? No wonder. Not two hours ago, someone hacked your brain and sent you to take out the boss of heaven. I'm assuming I'm assuming it was this wizard. You were a wreck. I had to overload your arm to break the hack. I had to apologize, but hey, it's better than being dead. It gets worse. Wizard and his crew kidnapped your brother. Guess that's how they talked you into going after the boss. But if they hacked my brain, did they have to really kidnap my brother? Luckily, I can help you find him. That's what friends are for, right? Sure, I guess... Either Wizard's got your bro, or he'll tell us who does. Ask Rustum, that ex-cop at the Vostok bar. If he knows where this wizard is, or if he knows where this wizard is, chop chop. All right, where's the Vostok bar? We just got a lot of entries, hold on now. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, sure lady. 
Oh, hey, we can read up on this. Brought up by the Yakuza, he left the organization believing it had lost its way and sense of purpose. Virtually untouchable as the head of security in Heaven's HQ, he is the big dog's most trusted servant and has been dedicated his life to protecting his master. And I killed him with the most basic of abilities. What a shame for him. Okay, what are these? Not yet started. Coins? Right? There's a lot of things to learn here. Probably won't read absolutely everything, but I will read up some of these. Her. That's me. Ah, it's one of these. The person giving us an overview of everything also writes the database entries. Okay. That's me. Recently I saved your ass, your head actually, from exploding. Someone hacked your brain and took control of you. I happen to be snooping around heaven's secure, se secure data, inaccessible to regular mortals, of course. Saw what was happening and managed to intervene. Just a few minutes later and it would have been bye bye brain. Whoever did this, I'm going to teach him a lesson in the craft. I'm the best of the best, and I'm exactly who you want on your side right now. Yeah, unless you turn out to, like, try and betray me or something, I, I, I don't know. Brother, you were always close. The most important thing in each other's lives. That kind of togetherness is a rare thing in today's world. How do you know this? You would do anything for him, and they thought they could use that against you and turn your strength into a weakness. They couldn't have been more wrong. They're threatening to kill him, but as long as you hang tough, you can get him back. With my help. What if you're just like them, using my brother as a way to control me to get stuff done? The boss. AKA Big Dog. He stands at the top of heaven. Not much is known about the most powerful man in Rancock, but his lust for power is legendary. He must have made countless enemies. The latest attempt on his life involved you as the assassin. Alright, then we have Wizard, this... this... this dorky looking dude. <laughs> the bastard who hacked your brain and left to die. He worked as programmer at Heaven's HQ until someone talked him into taking out the boss. Looking at his sloppy code, it's amazing he got as close as he did. The good news is that kind of amateur won't be hard tracked down. Okay, and then what about mechanics? A grumpy old pain in the ass, enhanced in almost every way possible. He runs a motorbike repair shop in Rancock South, has been around so long he knows every electronic system there is inside and out. In fact, he's such an antique, his implants were probably designed during the steampunk era. He can build any gadget or upgrade you can imagine. For a man of his talents, he keeps a strangely low profile. Clearly, the man has his secrets. Yeah. All right, talk to Rustam at the Vostok bar. It doesn't show me the direction of the Vostok bar, but I guess we'll just walk around. Oh, is that the new virtuality headset? Rad! I wanted to hear more about the virtuality thing. Something big went down in heaven yesterday. I want to eavesdrop. A friend there told me everything. Says there was blood everywhere, but they covered it up. Oh, so they weren't one of the ones who actually saw me walking around. Okay. Where's my sushi? I've been waiting for hour, for over an hour now. Hey, hey, Gina, get that order over here. Sorry, man, she's new here. It's sushi, for God's sake. It's not like you have to cook it. <laughs> it took an hour to get a bunch of, like, raw fish. <laughs> Thank you, sad face. Come back for more. I recommend our crying Maki. Or depressed nigiri. <laughs> All right, I'm not really a, a fish kind of person, so sushi not for me. Customer, this is the worst fucking thing I ever put in my mouth, but I never did time, so what do I know? Oh, don't eat this shit, man. You want something decent? You need to go to a higher district. I don't have the karma, so I'm stuck here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Rangok could be heaven or hell, depending on your view. A lot of crazy shit happens here. Sure, I could move to- oh, that's Rustum. Sure, I could move to an upper district. But then I'd miss the action, miss the adrenaline rush. Wait, was that Rustum talking? Oh, he looks really grizzled. You wear that mask to hide an ugly fucking mug or something even worse. Ah, uh, uh, shrug. Is that face display supposed to impress me? I know what you want. Or who to be more sp or who, to be more specific. Wizard. Calls himself a tech specialist. I'm guessing you call him your next victim. He's been hanging with a local gang called the Creeps. They make people disappear. Last I heard, they got him holed up in an underground parking garage. If you're looking to make a little extra karma, you'll find a few other most wanted types there too. They each got a price on their heads. Cool, what about more bounties? So, do you want to take out those wanted men in the parking garage for me? Sure. Okay, then. I'll collect the karma bounty from my buddies on the force and split it with you. I can transmit it right from here, so I don't have to see you, and you don't have to see me. 
Okay, the moose. Keep this between us. No one likes a tattletale. All right, I like how he has a jacket, but in the overworld, he doesn't. <laughs> he has a jacket in the talking, in the dialogue, but not everything else. Mm. That's weird. His model on the outside doesn't match at all. Okay. I don't know where the parking garage is, but I guess we'll just look around. Meow. You're sweet. You don't know anything about me. Girls. <laughs> just, just girls and then like an arrow pointing down. There are girls here. Talk to Disorder. Ooh. Oh. Uh, she's kind of creepy looking. What the hell's up with that mask? Hey, handsome. Do you crave salvation? No. No. <laughs> we offer salvation through suffering. Free yourself from the tyranny of labels and unite what's been divided for the sole purpose of confusing and controlling. Pain, pleasure, guilt, innocence, freedom, slavery, good and bad, heaven and hell. Apply a label to any human experience and its truth is lost. Put your faith in the church of disorder. Ah, uh, she's trying to recruit me for our religion. Experience suffering and be rewarded. Explain. You must first learn suffering. Go, seek out punishment, pain, even death. Submit to the purity of the experience. Return here afterwards and you shall be rewarded. You must die at least 50 times during your adventure. Do so and I can reward you, but only once permission. Be smart about how you offer up your devotion. Okay, I await your suffering. So I guess I get a reward for dying 50 times. Ooh, what is this, Infocom. Hey! All right, we get a nice little map here. We're all the way at the bottom left of the map, and the parking garage is all the way at the top right. Ah, I see. All right, well, we'll start making our way over there as we continue to check out other places. So, the question is, are there like 50 plus missions in the game and I have to die once in each mission to get the reward? Or can I die 50 times every mission, then come back, talk to her and get a reward? I'm not gonna go for it because that's a pity party kind of reward, I think. <laughs> Die 50 times and we'll give you like a level up. I don't think so. Talk to Daisy. Hmm. Oh. Hi, I haven't seen you before. I would have remembered. It's the mask. I love it. Bet you're handsome underneath, huh? Eh, shrug. That is so cool. If you want to visit the club, talk to the bouncer. Bye bye Oh, yeah, all right. You're not getting in. Beat it. Okay. Oh, snap. He didn't let you in? It's probably because your karma level is too low. You know about karma, right? Uh, no. Wow, you really don't know about karma? Okay, I can tell you all about it. Karma is the currency here and ties right into your identity. Without karma, you can't eat or drink, buy clothes, or have any fun. The more karma you have, the more awesome you are. Okay, I need to get back to work. Bye bye I hope you earn enough karma to come in soon. Yes. She actually has a database entry. She can end up being important. A hostess at the Virtuality Club. Sweet girl, but she seems a little overly enthusiastic about her job. And about you too, for that matter. Well, she's a hostess. It's their job to be pleasant, to get in different people. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think we got, a, we got an update on the wizard log. If he needs protections from the creeps, he must be desperate. The question is, who is he hiding from? You or someone else? Probably someone else. Rustum, an ex-cop with a shady past. He could likely afford to live in one of the highest districts in the city. Instead, he spends his day warming a stool in the Sleezes Bar in Rangok South. I guess that's how he keeps his finger on the pulse, his ear to the ground, and his brain perpetually pickled. No one knows more about what's going on around here. For the right price, he'll share it with you, if he's in the mood. Okay. So I guess I can't go in. Oh, you're not getting in with that freaky face. That's mean. You can't judge a book by the cover. Ooh, what's this? Hector. Y X Y B. Is there anything down here? Give it a break, she's not here. Shut up, I know what I'm doing. Why did I let you drag me into this? <laughs> I was expecting more. I came here for karma. To work as a host, to live in my dream. So what happened? My vibrancy's too low. What? That's what I was about to say. My sensations don't transfer. I'm fucked. Now I have nowhere to go. No job, nothing. I used my last bit of karma on this drink. I'll see what I can do. 
Ah, but we all work for heaven. Heaven is all there is. Okay, I was confused about what he meant, but I get it now. He, when he says he wants to be a host, he doesn't mean like how this lady is a host is. You know, someone who, who just kind of, you know, takes orders or hangs out with the people. He means, I think he lets people control his body. But because his sensations don't transfer, he wouldn't make a good host. So, whoa, that sucks. This used to be a fish market. Fish are long gone, but the stench lingers. Well, that's fish for you, right? I don't even like fish. Okay. Leave me alone. You got it. Welcome to the Forgotten Realms. This is the end of the line. I like sitting here. It used to be someone's mother's shop. It's calming. I come here to think. Okay, anything else? Your mask. I know it. Familiar. Haven't we met in another life? Perhaps the next one. I don't know, man. I, I can't imagine. I can imagine that there are probably hundreds, maybe thousands of people with a mask similar to this. Welcome to Forgotten Realms. Ah, he's just repeating it. Okay. There's a lot of grand dialogue going on over here. 20 more and I'll be able to beat his ass. So 10 each? <laughs> beat his ass. 10 each cheek. <laughs> I get it. Alright. I Ching Oracle. Oh. Learn your future? Sure. What is this? The light has sunk into the earth. The image of the darkening of the light. Not light, but darkness. First he climbed up to heaven, then he plunged into the depths of the earth. In adversity, it furthers one to be er, persevering. What do you mean? You've broken into heaven, boy. That's not something that goes unnoticed. Brutal forces were unleashed because of your actions. There's nothing you can do now but embrace your path. It is a dark one, and you carry that darkness within. Your brother's life is the light that guides you. Remember, the only way out is through. Right, tell me more. I will tell you your fortune if you bring me three coins from your next adventure. They are worthless to anyone else in the world of karma. Ah. Find coins in the creep's parking garage. Alright, I gotta look around the garage for, for coins. Girl, that looks all wrong. Did I ask for your advice? No, but she could still say if it looks wrong. <laughs> She's right, yo. You're never gonna get a good deep rumble with that narrow pipe. I know what I'm doing. Just saying. Trying to help. <laughs> Mechanics is a fantastic engineer. He can fix anything, but he's tone deaf. You ever hear him sing? No? You're lucky. <laughs> Poor Mechanics. Pink brother. What are you looking at? Uh, this ain't your business. No one messes with the Pink Brothers. <laughs> I was surprised that you're, the only thing pink about you guys is your jacket. A fresh loy, my guy. Scri uh, shrimp and scallop. Only today. I, I'm, not, I'm not a seafood kind of guy, so I'm good. The whisper in your head. Do you trust it? No? What? <laughs> One, seven, forty-three. I see you, and you see me. The eye. Did you see it? It sure saw you. No escape from the all-seeing eye. Um, I'm gonna poke. What is this? Wait a minute. Who is this? The real face behind the mask? It is you! It is I! Am I supposed to be I? Is she like a fourth wall breaking old hag? The I! You came, you saw, you know. I don't, but I'll keep listening. Yes, the game has started. To get the king, start with the pawns. Here's one pawn, I see, already on the move. Keep him in check, I. <laughs> what does she mean? I don't know, but I'll nod. It's watching. It's always watching. You've got a target on your back. You are being watched. What does that mean, I? Database, I. Throughout the 21st century, using complex neural networks and ever more advanced machine learning algorithms, the satellites observing Earth have grown more sophisticated. Deve they've developed a vast understanding of humanity. Some say they've grown a conscious and have even started intervening in earthly affairs, helping people in need. Seems like the only hope some people can afford. 
<laughs> Praise the satellites, I guess. Crazy old homeless lady, constantly mumbles about the nature of reality. Mostly, she talks about some mysterious eye in a high-level game you may or may not be playing. I think she's trying to tell you something. I don't know if it's important, but if you have the patience, you might want to pay attention. Just please don't touch the used syringes. Okay. So, I guess we're just accumulating things that we can do as we look around the environment. Open your eyes! Your lives are falling apart, piece by piece! I... Yes, yes, my, I guess mine is in the game. I mean, my brother was taken, I was controlled. That's right, keep your heads down. Honesty is like a mine, like mine is a terminal illness, all right? Okay. Well, what's it over here? Oh, I love this girl. I love you too. Oh. Can I buy you a cocktail? Always. Why are they talking through the fence? That's really weird. Hi, can I go up these stairs? I guess not. You're adorable. I love your sweet lies. You're the sweetest thing. You know I'd never lie to you. I know you're a heartbreaker. I know that for sure. I could never break your heart. I will love you forever. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, all right. All right, lovebirds, we'll get out of here. This city used to be ours. Now it's run by an army of crazy punks. You mean like the creeps here? Owned by a handful of rich fucks. Oh. We used to rule the streets. People respected us, feared us. What the hell happened? Time, I guess. Time. Hello. She has a cat icon above her. Have you seen any cats around? There's one up there. Yeah. Oh man, what now? Are you gonna tell me I'd be so much pretty if I would just smile more? Um, no. I'm not sat here for anyone's amusement. I'm here to protect Rangok South from Heaven's surveillance. You into helping? Sure. Heaven's watching us all, dude. It's the goddamn cats. Furry little fuckers worming their way into our minds, stealing our data. Cats. Cute autonomous transmission systems. Spies from Heaven. Find them, jack in, pull the data, get back to me. We'll split any karma or intel you find. Okay, I'll agree. Trusting you is a risk, but I have a good, a good bad feeling about you. Okay, hat cats. So, the cats are legitimately spies? Examine cats. Oh shit, uh, B-Y-B-Y-A-A. -A. You're a waste of bandwidth. Ouch! I just got insulted by cat. All right. Yeah. I need the whole package to crack the code, man. Please. Okay. So I gotta look for multiple cats. Where I can. Uh, thanks, man. I'm good. Yeah, Alright, you keep working on what you gotta. I'm looking for cats. Looking for cats. Get cats to hack. Is that a cat? No, that's a, that's a, a, like a random employee dude. I can't access my citizen profile. Something's busted. That sounds scary. I haven't eaten for days. What's wrong with this? Wait, what about some getting sold to select savory? Oh, there's a harvester for parts. What the fuck's going on, man? This place is messed up. Jewels. Got something to drink? Nope, I don't really have karma. Not a good citizen, am I? Well, what the fuck is going on with this leg? Whoa. Hold on, let me look at my FPS. Uh, okay. My FPS is vastly super fluctuating, but it wasn't doing that until now, so I think this is like a... Some kind of glitch. Alright, hold on. Let me restart my game. Okay. See? Restarted the game and now the FPS is all the way up in the hundred. Jesus. Let's just get rid of that. FPS display? That's weird. I, I have a similar problem in another game, PUBG. I think it's the Unreal Engine. Just being fucky with me. Don't know. I uh, don't have any idea how to fix it. All right. Talk to opportunists. Ah. Heaven needs to sort its shit out. I'm losing a fortune. Uh, well, listen. Some whack job shot the place up. Oops. Heaven's stock is in freefall. Of course, no one can keep heaven down for long. I mean, it's not like they have any competition. Hell, I'm onto something here. Buy low now. Sell high once heaven bounces back. That psycho killer did me a favor. You look like a can-do guy. 
tell you what, if you can dig up some juicy inside info, anything that might affect Heaven's stock price, I'll endorse you for a karma promotion. Okay, sure. So you're in. Fantastic. Come see me whenever you have intel from the top of Heaven's food chain. Obscene profit awaits. Here's a little down payment in the form of a karma endorsement. What a time to be alive. I'm going to be richer than God. Hell, maybe even richer than Fork Parker himself. That will shut him up. Hmm. Did he give me a... Level up? No. I guess he must have just given me, like, base karma. How do I look at that? Ah, there you go. Well, I was hoping for just an entirely free level. Oh well. Talk to a woman. You mean there's one thing I can't do in my own life? Someone tried to kill Heaven's boss. I'm sure the cops will be all over it. Rangok South always gets the blame. Look at this guy. That mask. I know, right? Yeah, my mask does look pretty cool. What the hell's going on here? Couldn't sleep last night. How are you doing, dude? Anything exciting that happened in your life lately? I aspire to be one of those folks who always smell good and treat people kindly. Don't often pull off either one. Or don't often pull off either one, but I'm getting close. Don't get too close. I'm so low-key with my feelings. You wouldn't even think I have any. Find out too much about someone and you soon you don't give a shit. Who are you trying to impress? I need to get my ego stoked today, or stroke today. I don't love you anymore. I'm not a phony, I'm not a fake. What the fuck is going on? It's like they're having a whole bunch of different conversations. I'm just me. Are we gonna be okay? By disappointment only. Alright, you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? The future is stupid. Okay, I'm going back to looking for cats. Meow. Where's everything? Hun, can't you see we're talking? Sure, I guess. I to find the cats and not to worry about anything. Remember, there's one up here. Whoa. Uh -oh. Security camera. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Ah, that, that, that. Alright. Oh, there is a cat. Hello. YBBYXB. That felt strange. Well, I mean, I did hack your existence by the looks of it. So are they actually like physical cats? Uh, how bad? Streams down. Nerve vert all day. Folks are freaking out. Uh, hopeless. Tell me about it. Taking a break? Yeah. Boss keeps yelling. But we, what can we do? Right. Okay, I know there are cats up here. Disappointing, but I will keep looking around. So when they say verts down, does that mean like virtuality? The virtual reality stuff? That'd be interesting. Hello? Something big went down in heaven yesterday. A friend wor works there, told me everything. Says there was blood everywhere, but they covered it up. I like to. I understand when they say cover it up, they just mean like they, they, they hid the information. Yeah, so no one can talk about it. But it makes me think they just like threw a tarp over all the blood. Okay, where could I find another cat? Can I get like a hint? If there's only one remaining? Yeah. I need the whole package to crack the code, man. Man, fine. Oh, wait, there's one right across over here. Hello. A, B, X, X, A, A. I need to change my life. Yeah, you stop being a spying cat. Yeah. What's that? Whoa, Heaven's preparing a major mindfuck operation in Raincock South. I gotta warn everybody before they scan all our brains. Thanks, dude. Reward, please? You got it. I'm giving you access to one of our, our stashes, too. Fair's fair. Thanks. Uh, anything yeah. else? Thanks for your help, really. But I must process this now. Let's see each other soon. This is far from over. Okay, so... What the heck happens with cats? Creep's nest. Stash said given locations are unlocked. Oh. Creep's nest, creep's fire hole, and nerve. Well, I guess we should finally go into the creep's uh, parking garage place. It's kind of my job to guard this place. Which is kind of dumb since it's full of creeps. But they pay me to sit here, so that's what I do. Besides, I really need the karma. I can't really recommend you go in there. But I won't stop you either. Not with that freaky face of yours. I'd rather not work for heaven. That's why I'm here. 
better the devil you know, you know? <laughs> yeah, makes sense to me. Why is there a mechanics graffiti thing on the door? What does mechanics get himself up to? Hi. Right. I hope you're not parked in there. It's chock full of creeps. You go in, you won't be coming out. Just try and do you a favor, friend. Ignore me at your peril. I have to go in there. It's for my brother. Not afraid of dying? Third kids only. All bodies feel the same in the dark. Okay, that's kind of a creepy thing for him to end off in. Uh, but sure, let's go inside. X, Y, X, A. I opened the door, what are you gonna do now? Just keep on being creepy. Alright. Fair enough, it's in your job title. Creep's Nest. We're chasing Wizard, the idiot who hacked your brain. He must be shitting his pants if he's hoping you, the creeps will protect him. We're in Creep's territory now, so be careful. Don't underestimate the creeps. They're shitheads, but they're lethal. The creeps are a gang of deranged third children, hunted by the system, hiding underground. Their leader is a legendary psycho named Nerve. He keeps them together with terror and twisted fatherly affection. Wizard's close by. He's the creep's latest meal ticket, so they won't let him go without a fight. These boys will kill you as quick as look at you, so be careful. Go get him, puppy! Hey! Don't call me puppy. That's weird. Also, I guess I might have to hunt down like three different targets. Uh, sloppy hacker, ambitious coward, and hacked you and left you to die. Oh, I still have my shotgun! Fun. Ah! Gah! Ow! What the fuck? It like reaches out at you like it's gonna stab you. Jesus. Hurry up, man. Let's bounce. <laughs> uh oh. I'm a little tiny drone. I don't see lasers. That's right. That can be pretty dense, too. What is this about? Interesting piece of engineering, huh? Creeps can make traps out of anything. Garbage cans and rusty pipes, photocopiers, dead rats and firecrackers. It's kinda cute. The firecrackers and the rats, or are there other traps? Yeah. Alright, I'm looking around. I'm looking for stashes. I have no idea what a stash looks like in the context of this game. But I am curious. I want to make sure that, uh... I explore everything I can. Okay, we spawned over here, so I don't think there's anything else. Thankfully, this doesn't use up energy. Uh-oh, what's going on here? These creeps are seriously screwed up. They've been known to drag cops here and torture them to death, just for kicks. Uh, well, I won't feel bad about killing him then. Although, I guess I don't really actually care. Probably, uh... Morally neutral person with all the things that are going on here. Ooh, that was a coin. Nice. All right, so there's coins in here as well. Creeps nest. Find coins in Creeps parking garage. Sure. So I think uh, when we when we look at cats, what what the hell did I just do? Oh shit! I could do push-ups. I don't think that does anything, but if I hold up on the deep pad, it lets me do that. Anyways, oh. You just got some karma. Collect it to level up. Sure, but I'm trying to look at some other stuff. So, on this, it says Creep's Nest, Stash Location, Creep's Nest, Creep's Fire Hole, and Nerve. I think that we go down different places and they're gonna have different names for reference. So that's gonna be interesting. Um... Hmm. <laughs> you have this big thing that just says death. What the fuck am I supposed to do about that? Maybe if I... Walk into it and then dash back. Okay. That works out. Kind of a bad trap if it doesn't, you know, consistently refresh itself. Alright, looking for a stash. 